Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTechker. In this video, I'm going to compare the spin board mobile cooler versus the Realme cooling a back clip. So this is a question which has been requested by a few of my subscribers asking me to compare these both mobile coolers. So uh, which can actually cool down very low temperatures. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. So right now I do have the stopwatch ready and I'll try to check the temperatures in the beginning and I'll try to connect the power bank to this one to this both mobile coolers just to check how quick the both mobile coolers can actually come down in terms of the temperatures. That's what I'm going to compare side by side between this both mobile cooling clips and I do have the realme cooling clip but most of the people that did request me only these two things in case if you want me to add this realme cooling clip which is a old one let me know in the comment section below definitely I'll be able to do those kind of testing as well so right now let me try to connect to the power bank which is available at this moment and the I think power supply should be kind of same even if you connect to the plug and even for the power bank as well it should not make any kind of difference because they do not take much kind of huge uh, battery wards anyway so let me need to connect the chargers and cable so one thing is that on the spin board there is a power button which is available to turn on and off as you can see but in the realme back cooling kit there is no power button available as soon as you connect the cable it will automatically turn on that's another uh, thing you should definitely understand and let's check the temperatures in the beginning how much it is it's of same exactly temperature i'm trying to maintain 29.2 29.2 exactly as you can see same temperatures between these both that's very good way to start this kind of testing as you can see my room temperature is also 29.2 same temperatures exactly friends okay i'll try to start the stopwatch and i'll try to uh, keep this both mobile coolers separately for about close to 10 minutes of time till then i'll try to uh, continuously do the testing let me try to start at same time because as soon as i plug this one it automatically gets start and both are uh, got activated Both are working as you can see friends exactly. Both cooling clips are working exactly. Let me to uh, click start. Yes, right now it started. So right now I'll try to uh, keep this both cooling clips side. I won't keep in the reverse manner because that will definitely block the hot air. I should not keep like that. I'll try to keep in the tilting in this manner only. So let's. I'll try to see which cooler can actually cool down very much faster. So let's check right now what is happening. That 23.2, 22. Both are very fast. OMG. 21.8 21.8 21 21.8 is the lowest one 22.4 is the lowest one slightly the spin bot is slightly cooling i think 21 somewhere around the year 21.8 21.2 is the higher lowest you can see the temperature how it's varying between this uh, height as well different layer different different type of temperature 20.4 as well somewhere around here and here 20.8 so i'm gonna be back after some time till then we'll be able to check what is going on between this both cooling i'll just keep it sides in this way only i won't touch it so right now as you can see friends the time is about close to six minutes of time six minutes I did not touch them. I did keep exactly in this slant portion only. Let's check the what is the temperatures. So I can actually see the water droplets on the spin board. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to notice. Let me try to slightly decrease the... Yes, as you can see right now, you'll be able to see water droplets, friends, in the spin board exactly. So it's really cooling. I think it's uh, high. Whenever you see this kind of water droplet, that means slightly kind of better. 18.8 degrees Celsius. Wow, that's 10 degrees less than my room temperature 18.4 degrees celsius on the top on the bottom it's 22 it's kind of uneven you can see clearly what is happening in the bottom it's not that high not cooling at all in the bottom side as you can see clearly it's not working in the bottom and in this portion little bit but most of the work is happening only on the top section in this area So 18.2 is the lowest value detected in this spin board cooler. Let's see what is happening with this Realme cooler. Even the Realme also can uh, give slightly, uh, like you can see the water droplets a little bit. And let's check the temperatures exactly 20.6, 19.8 degrees Celsius. Let's check everywhere what is happening with the surrounding position. And 26, 20, 23.6, 22, 21.8, 20, 19.8, 6. 20.2 21 as you can see friends, it's around most of the time 20 and lowest i did see 19.6 somewhere around here 19.8 
after the time about close to 8 minutes of time these are the temperatures but in the spin board we can definitely see directly like it's 18 degrees 19 degrees most of the area it's not in one point but it's kind of surrounding everywhere most area is uh, showing us lower temperatures you can see wow so 18.4 18.2 degrees is the lowest value which we did see in the spin board uh, cooler and when you compare with the realme cooling clip this is just an only 8 minutes test only i'll try to continue this kind of test for a little bit kind of more time maybe close to 15 minutes of time 15 minutes only then we'll be able to understand what is happening with the both cooling systems and again i'll try to keep this both side only and again i'll be back after some time right now as you can see friends we did get close to 15 minutes of continuously doing the testing on this both realme cooling clips uh, sorry realme cooling clip and the spin board you can see the water droplets how much water has been generated in the spin board at this moment you can see so all this water came from the mobile cooler only and this is the water droplets from this uh, realme cooling clip and let's check the temperatures at this moment what is happening at this uh, both cooling clips and 18.2 degrees 18.2 it's very low temperatures friends wow so the spin board has got really good uh, low temperatures maintaining and the realme also trying to maintain 19 19 24 26 25 but most of the area even though it's kind of looks big but most of the area is not that cold if you try to observe the bottom part this still here this bottom part it's not that cool when the spin board is also not that cool in the bottom part but both are kind of really very close but slightly better in the spin board little bit it goes i think one degree more it can actually cool and more water it can generate so there is no no use of this water i think we should not drink this water so don't try to drink this so i'm getting the droplets I can actually get the drop wow this is the water which has been generated as you can see friends right now so this is the quick comparison between both uh, spin board cooling clip and the realme cooling clip and i think you got a clear idea what is going on with, between these both fans and both are definitely capable enough to cool uh, really good temperatures so don't worry about those i'll try to do the another uh, testing as well in-depth testing using the mobile phone instead of in this way while using mobile phone maybe using intense kind of testing then i will be able to understand for example cpu throttling test or maybe another benchmark test intense testing then i'll try to definitely test it so right now the more water has been generated in the spin board than the realme a cooling clip you can clearly see that's it friends thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below meanwhile signing off and bye